What's going on YouTube? This is what would Josh do and we are back again with another video Totally stole that from Flossie Carter shout out to Flossie Carter and his uh, stream gangsters That's some funny stuff if you want a good laugh for a few hours watch this Amazon Warriors videos This is hilarious, but uh, so I'm looking at my Nexus 9 here and and you know, I, I like it so far. I've just got it I just in did the unboxing uh, about an hour ago and here we are I finished the video it's exporting it will be uploading uh, in, in about an hour and then YouTube's gonna take a while to process it and then you're gonna see this video after it but it's installing one of my favorite games for Android hill climb racing and I'm like you know I need to go ahead and unlock the bootloader when you unlock a bootloader on a device most of the time it erases the device like it, it erases it so nobody can root your device, back up your stuff and restore it on their phone and be logged in as you on everything. So it's kind of an, you know, a, a smart thing to do. So when you unlock the bootloader, it erases the device. Like the internal storage is completely wiped. Anything you add on there is gone. You're gonna have to redownload all your apps. You're gonna sign back into your Google account. You're gonna have to do everything from scratch. So why set this device up and then go through the trouble of having it reset and then doing it all over again so why not just go ahead and unlock it today and be done with it you know not worry about having to to reset the device and go through everything all over again so first things you're going to need is a usb cable that's data not just charging second of all you're going to need the android sdk i will have a link in the description to my android sdk video if you want to set your android sdk up the way i have mine so what we're going to do is we're going to type sdk and we're gonna launch the SDK manager. And that's going to let us know if we have any updates to our SDK or not. So uh, this does take just a minute and it, depending on your internet, this can be a fast process or a short one. See, we have updates. So it's a good thing we checked. We're gonna go down here to deselect all and then we're just going to check Android SDK tools and Android SDK platform tools. We're gonna go ahead and install those two packages, accept and install. This is going to update us from what we have to the newer one. So, you know, it's just it's a smart thing to do. So, well, let's let let this finish up here. Uh, in fact, while this is finishing up, let's explain some things. As of right now, there is no root. Typically, Chainfire has CF Auto root for Nexus devices and Samsung devices, but this is an HTC Nexus, so I don't know if he's going to have a I don't know if he's going to be able to put together a CF Auto root package that roots it with an you have to have an unlocked bootloader. So again, if you wait till later on to do this process, you're going to be like, oh, I can't back up any of my stuff with titanium backup because I was not rooted. And here we are weeks later. I want to root now, but I've got my tablet set up exactly the way I like it. So do I want to unlock my bootloader and reset my tablet and lose everything? No, 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 you don't. So if you're going to root, do it today. Uh, there is no custom recovery without custom recovery. We're not going to be able to install super su in recovery and give ourselves root access So that is a little bit of a bummer But at least we're doing the first step of this to root your device You have to have an unlocked bootloader and second you have to have custom recovery installed and third You have to install super su in your custom recovery So uh, custom recovery will come soon and we'll do a video on how to flash custom recovery in fast boot and then install super su and we'll be fully rooted so now that the SDK is done, we're going to need to open our SDK. And again, that link will be in the description. I have, I show you how to get your little favorites here to show Android or platform tools. So turn that down a little bit so you can see it better. And now we have a nice clean platform tools folder to work with. We are going to plug in our Nexus 9 to the USB port. And then also you're going to want to go to, I mean, I guess this isn't really mandatory because you need to be in fast boot, but uh, about tablet build number keep tapping on it go back to developer options and you'll see uh, USB debugging right here, okay, and Yeah, there we go. Let's back out and then let's plug in the cable to our tablet here. Which way does it go? I don't really know. I think it's this way All right it's going to take just a second for the drivers to install. If you get a little pop-up on the screen saying, do you want to allow this computer's RSA key, uh, please hit allow permanently and then hit okay. That way it doesn't keep asking you over and over again. And keep in mind, after you unlock the bootloader, it's going to be reset and you're going to have to do this all over again. Go back to developer options, go back to USB debugging, and you're going to do that all over again. But the important thing is you're, you're doing it now instead of later on after you've got your tablet set up exactly the way you like it. So. Uh, we're waiting on drivers to install after they install unplug it 
plug it back in, and on here, you need to hold down the shift button and then right click and choose open command window here. And that's gonna pop up this little thing right here. On here, you could type in ADB reboot bootloader. In fact, let's just type ADB devices, uh, list of attached devices, none at the moment. So let's go ahead and go to manage and see if we, if we just have issues with the drivers at the moment. So we might need to go back to the SDK and no, uh, what is Acer composite USB device? That's weird. All right, so let's go ahead and reboot this thing into, oh, it, it hasn't asked me to allow it. That's what's going on here. It hasn't asked me to allow the computer's RSA key. I'm gonna go ahead and uninstall this and then delete the driver for it, hit okay. Unplug it, plug it back in. And maybe it will, there we go, there we go. It popped off. Oh, it was there for a second and then it went away. And now we have Google Nexus ADB. So we have the right one. So we had that little pop up, but then we accidentally closed it out. There we go. Allow always and hit OK. All right. We are good to go there. Now, if we go back to our platform tools and we hit uh, ADB devices, now we have the device. We could type ADB reboot bootloader or we can go on here, power it off. And what's really annoying is they still don't have a freaking reboot option. I would really like to see a reboot option on my tablet and my phone. That would be nice. So in here, we're going to hit volume down in the power button. I'm assuming it's what it is. That's typically what it is. And okay, now we're in this huge bootloader screen. And as you can see, our device is locked. We have not done this before. And we're going to go ahead and plug the cable in now. And then we are now in fast boot. You should see fast boot USB. Uh, what you're going to have to do is go ahead and hit the fast boot option right there. Now you see fast boot USB. And over here, we see Nexus 4 bootloader interface. You can probably ignore that. And it says installing Android. So once this is done, we're going to go here. We're going to type fast boot devices. There we go. It detected the device was in fast boot. So that's very nice. Now we need to type fast boot OEM unlock and there we go well permissions denied huh all right so uh team and irc he uh he's pretty awesome he said go into the developer options and enable it so maybe we're totally missing something let's go ahead and let this reboot and apparently there's something in here that we have to press to allow the bootloader to be unlocked in the first place so let's go ahead and do that now he said, next to 6, 9, go into developer menu and enable unlocking. Okay, cool. So we showed you how to get in the developer options. So that was kind of a mandatory step that you had to do to get your bootloader unlocked. And once you unlock it, it resets it and you got to do it all over again. So <laughs> fun, fun, fun stuff here. All right. So we're going to go to our settings and then we're going to scroll down to developer options. Oops. And somewhere in here, there's a new option called enable unlocking so let's find this new option here um uh usb debug support oh enable oem unlock okay so that was our problem that said permission denied that we kept getting i'll go ahead and shorten the video up by not including it but i'll include a screenshot of what happened and uh that was our problem right there so now i showed you how to do it the other way. So let's go ahead and do ADB reboot. Oh, see right there. <laughs> Permission denied for this command. ADB reboot boot loader. And now it's going to reboot us into bootloader on here. Bam. And on here, we're going to type fastboot OEM unlock. Fastboot OEM unlock. Oh, <laughs> my bad. I typed in wrong thing. Fastboot OEM unlock. Look at that, now we have success. Now it says, do you want to void your warranty? And you're like, yes, yes I do want to void my warranty. So volume up is yes, volume down is no. It unlocked it and now we're good to go. There will be a video very soon on how to install custom recovery, which is the next step to getting root access and then installing SuperSU and we'll be fully rooted. So that video will come very soon. This, like I've said many times before you did this, does on does reset your device. 
So I've warned you many, many times. That's why I always do this the day I get the device or very soon after. And if I'm not able to do it right away, I don't do anything important. I might log into my Twitter account, post some tweets and stuff like that, but I won't work really hard in a game or something or get super far when I know I can't back up that progress and restore it later on. So <laughs> that's why you want to do it soon. So this could take a minute. I don't know. We'll see. It's 3.20 at the moment. All right, it is 3.20 still, so not even a whole minute after I said that, and now it says we're unlocked. So now we're just going to go ahead and reboot, and we're going to log into our Wi-Fi, log into our Google account, and now we can actually start making progress in games and apps without worrying about losing it. When you install custom recovery with an unlocked bootloader, it doesn't erase your device. Your device will not be erased again until you lock or unlock again. You just and you won't you shouldn't have to. And even if you lock again in the future, the whole time you were unlocked and you had root and everything, you could have made an Android backup or you could have backed up all your apps with titanium backup and then restored them after you locked and then unlocked again on another device or something. I don't know. If this video helped you out, please give it a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. Definitely had to troubleshoot. And there's Root Junkie chiming in. <laughs> but uh, if this video helped you out, please give it a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram to know what videos are coming out before I actually upload them. To stay in touch with me, tweet me, you know, stuff like that. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. This is What Would Josh Do? And we're out. How to install custom recovery and root your nexus 9 is coming very soon how to an unboxing how to unlock the bootloader how to root on the nexus 6 that's coming uh unboxing how to root and unlock the bootloader of the nexus player man all those are coming very soon i have all those i got my nexus 9 i'm waiting on my nexus 6 and my nexus player this is what would josh do and once again i'm finally out